have you noticed that people's kidneys are now failing nowadays have you noticed that wherever you are whether you are here in africa you are in europe asia or wherever you find yourself haven't you seen that around you within your vicinity kidney patients or kidney cases are rising up you can go check the hospital near you and go and check their statistics you realize that people's kidneys are now failing have you realized that and do you know why people's kidneys are failing if you don't know then stay can stay and watch this video all the way to the end because i am going to run you through the main reasons why people are now losing their kidneys kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and do not forget also to click on to the notification bell and then you select all so that anytime we post videos such as this one you'll be the very first person to get notified now come and let me show you why people's kidneys are failing okay hippocrates upon arriving to africa he realized something he realized that the africans at that time were eating directly from the tree therefore he made a profound statement and i quote him he said let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food now the reason why a lot of people are now losing their kidneys is this now our food are no longer our medicine and our medicine are no longer our food come 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 and still I, i'm not done with you it will interest you to know that nowadays a person will suffer will struggle will hustle from morning till evening he won't he or she won't sleep all in the name of making money right after making the money he will use the very money he suffered he toiled for to go and buy his own death warrant what do i mean i mean nowadays the kind of food we are eating is exactly what is destroying our kidneys now at this now if you care to know let me quickly run you through some of the examples of food example number one alcohol if you take alcohol for instance it the liver and the kidney finds it extremely difficult to process alcohol anytime you ingest it so if you see a person taking out his own money he has suffered for going to the liquor shop to buy alcohol you what you understand the reason why i said we are using our own money to buy our death warrant and you see the 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 the, the danger aspect of the whole thing is that you know in ghana here or in africa most of the social gathering the outdooring the parties the enjoyment normally occurs during the weekend please i don't know where you are watching me from but if you are watching me from africa here when it is weekend just take your car go to town and see what people are consuming into their body in those social gatherings it will shock you to the bone to see young able men and women young men consuming alcohol to the fullest maximum forgetting the fact that the amount of alcohol they are consuming will eventually go a long way to destroying their kidneys so as a health practitioner or as a health advocate like me anytime i see some of these things going on the only thing i say to myself is that indeed we have a very big tax ahead of us example number two highly processed food or junk food not only uh, alcohol is highly consumed in those social gatherings and parties by these young men and women but food the kind of food which is being served in those social gatherings and sometimes the kind of food we eat in our homes having to notice that nowadays wherever you live you you can see that now 
fast food joints are now popping up everywhere have you noticed that especially me i live in ghana kumasi to be precise now where i live i can count about 10 different fast food joint around where i live and i don't know that of your area but the bottom line is that i'm just drawing your mind to the fact that the moment these fast food joints started popping up is where we started hearing severe cases of kidney failures kidney diseases liver failures and so on and so forth don't think that these kidney failures kidney diseases are imported no we are the same people who brought them in our body so my brother my sister try as much as possible to start eating healthy how do you start eating healthy that is by way of eating much vegetables much fruit but i know by now you are asking me or you are saying to yourself but doctor don't you know or having to realize that the kind of fruit and vegetables people are now growing are all produced with chemicals yes i agree with you i'll do an editorial about the chemicals the agrochemicals as well because they are also part of the mess we are in and that is why i am always advocating to you that you must start eating what you plant if you buy a house please don't use the whole land to build on it no leave some little portion to what to plant your own food for example look at this little farm you can see this is a backyard farm belonging to someone look at the person the person has been able to plant a lot of cassava here you can see plantain okay so the person is eating exactly what he is what he is planting come come and let me show you something look at look at it look check it out this is cassava okay a matured cassava for that matter now he can just approach it and prepare his own food with it look at cocoa yam you can see cocoa yam kontumri hmm? you can see cocoa yam here you understand the person is eating the food he is planting so it is time we what we start eating the african way it is time we start eating the very food we have planted by ourselves and how do you achieve that we can only achieve that if we start you know doing backyard farming backyard farming is the only way to go nowadays if you really want to take good care of your health but if you depend on the farm produce that comes onto the market my brother my sister your kidney will continue to fail you understand your kidneys will continue to fail as a person so if you build a house my candid view or my candid opinion to you is that if you buy a land yes i'm not saying you shouldn't build build so that you get a place to rest your head but do not use the whole land to build on just leave a little portion and plant your own food over there it won't take nothing away from you there you will get an undiluted organic farm produce so you can decide to plant pepper you can decide to plant your own tomatoes you can decide to plant your own ginger your own onions your own cassava your yam the kind of food we what that built the body you can decide to plant it and nothing will happen to you and you will live healthy and you will live long as well so let us go back to the backyard farming and start you know protecting ourselves otherwise in the next 10 years to come a lot of people are going to need kidney transplant and let me tell you the danger about kidney transplant anybody who has undergone kidney transplant whether the person is rich or poor such a person will no longer live more than five years yes you can just check anybody who has undergone kidney transplant will not live more than five years even if the person is rich because when you transplant or when you change your kidneys the new kidney in your system 
your own body's immune system will begin to fight that same kidney. Therefore, the doctors have produced a certain medicine we called immune suppressant. And this immune suppressant is very, very expensive. So if you are not rich, you can buy it. So if you are poor, within two years after the transplant, you have to go. But if you are rich enough to be able to buy the what? The immune suppressant, at least you can buy some years, little few years, you know, for, for yourself. Maybe five years after the transplant, you can leave. The maximum you can go is maybe 10 years after the transplant. So the transplant is not the final option. The transplant is like you are just buying some time for yourself as a person, but it is not a guarantee that you live long. So don't let us, you know, reach that place or don't wait till you get to that place. You can start now. The future is now. Your health, the future of your health depends on you now. Start doing something. If you depend on the junk food, my brother, my sister, you are doomed. Kindly copy the link of this video, share to your friends, your family, and people around you. And do not forget also to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on to the notification bell and select all so that anytime we bring you videos like this, you'll be the very first person to get notified. And until I see you again next time, have a great day and take good care of yourself. Bye.